Hello, and welcome to this episode of Frank Flyer. First, a big thank you to all of the subscribers and viewers who've supported the channel so far. Uh, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing if you've not done so already. Uh, now, in today's video, we're on the train ferry where they actually put the train onto a ferry in Sicily, Italy, and it's just coming into the harbour following its short crossing from the mainland to the island of Sicily. Uh, our train had come overnight all the way down from Milan in the north of Italy um, and this was probably about lunchtime the following day um, altogether to go from Milan down to the Palermo on Sicily takes around 24 hours in our case. So anyway, you've seen the train carriages just in the previous shots of the ship. We're now heading to the top of the stairs as it's time to get on board the train which is still on the ferry at this point. Um, this trip was actually done in um, the early part of 2022 when the temperatures were quite cool. Uh, if you did this in the middle of summer it would be extremely hot and the whole four hour chunk of time of the ferry crossing there's no AC um, and a lot of people stayed in their compartments on the train so it would be very hot. Anyway as you can see we're just going back to the sleeper cabin now. Um, you can see the newspapers are still there from the previous night. I hadn't read mine. It, it was in Italian, so I can't read Italian. This is the sleeper cabin, very messy from me having been here for a lot of hours now. And you can see the bed uh, was converted to day mode. Now you can see I've uh, come up to the front of our section. One of the sections has already been removed and you can see the uh, points or switches as they call them in the US uh, where they can change the track and pull out the different sections in the train. Um, now as you can see they're just bringing, starting to bring on the section that they'd already removed, the first section of the train. Um, so now they start to push this back on to the ferry so they can pick up the section of the train where my sleeping carriage or car was uh, located of about 40 minutes it's a good chance to get off of the train where you've been for about 14 hours up till that point uh, stretch legs taking some sea air and they've got a lovely little cafe with pizza espresso pastries and stuff uh, so you can really take advantage of that break to actually get off the train because um, if you're going all the way through to Palermo you will have another roughly six or so hours I believe it was. Anyway, now as you can see they're just preparing to uh, put the two sections of the train together. The work is down there in the middle and he then hooks it together and once it's all uh, connected up it gets dragged straight off uh, the ship uh, and as you can see there's um, well one longer section and one short section still there. Uh, our section of the train was right alongside the um, the side of the ship there so uh, in a second you will see it'll get dragged out over the little there's a little bridge with the train tracks in the bridge um, now you can see we've just come off the ferry um, and are heading out so now I've gone right down to the other end uh, the far back of the train which is now being pushed back on and you can see the view from the other end uh, as Obviously we are now coming back on to collect this uh, section on the other side and this is obviously just the view from the, uh, the moving part of the train. So, And the uh, interesting thing about all this is having uh, put the train all back into one long train they uh, drag it out into the station um, and then you have to wait about another two hours in the station roughly I think what was about an hour and a half while they actually split the train again into two sections because uh, one section goes off to uh, Saracuz I think it's called on the uh, southeast of Sicily and our section went off to Palermo. Now you can see that uh, barrier wagons that we use to stop this heavy shunting locomotive actually going onto the ship because obviously the ship wouldn't be able to take the weight of that. This is in fact the uh, last train ferry uh, in Europe still operating. Lots of Trenitalia trains uh, and others I believe cross it to and from the island of Sicily. Um, 
obviously this journey isn't about speed uh, it's a journey of about 500 miles or 800 kilometers but as you can see uh, it follows close to the sea at some points the waves are almost <laughs> smashing on the train it's that close um, having left Milan the night before about 8 p.m. it's now just coming up to 6 o'clock so some 22 hours and then the beautiful architecture and slightly chaotic nature of Sicily uh, come into view. But overall this train trip is a uh, once in a lifetime I reckon and any rail enthusiast needs to have this on their radar uh, because it really is uh, spectacular. And it cost me the grand sum of 80 euros and at the time with the Covid uh, I had a cabin all to myself. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.